Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about getting help from PowerShell. I opened already PowerShell console and also I did actually ping the app uh, here in the taskbar and I opened as an as admin. That's why it's showing as an administrator. And if you are, uh, if you have not done so far, you can, you know, always try to open as the administrator uh, to perform some kind of, you know, actions in your lab environment. Unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't ship a uh, built-in help uh, along with the PowerShell. Um, what you heard is the Kilet and uh, that's the reason we need to update the PowerShell help by default since it's not coming up. At least we have to update. Uh, to perform that PowerShell uh, help to be updated, you need to use some of the commands. Uh, here, uh, like update hyphen help. Uh, this is the command to be no use so if i start using this it's gonna actually uh, go and check with the internet since i have already internet access it's going to be updated uh, all the uh, required updates so you can see here all the modules and all the help content are relevant to the powershell uh, it's gonna update it once the update is uh, finished uh, maybe uh, let's say you have updated maybe six months back and you wanted to again re-update in that situation you can use the same command but you can add as the force as the command so that one more time it's gonna update and also this command can be used uh, if your if your machine is not connected to the internet you can actually update from another machine and then download that entire help content to uh, one of the folder and then import it to your uh, working machine in that way also you can do it if you have any restrictions or for uh, not to have the internet if you're thinking why the Microsoft is not shipping the PowerShell uh, along with the help, help is not shipping along with the PowerShell, the reason is uh, one of the reason I can think that uh, if they ship the PowerShell help also, it's unnecessarily occupying on every machine the help, and there's no necessity to have the help on every machine. Instead, whatever the machine you are gonna work because the PowerShell allows you to remote uh, and remotely uh, perform any kind of you know, activities. So it's just one machine required the help uh, where you are trying to perform or you're trying to play with that uh, command line. Um, then that commands uh, definitely might require help for you so in that situations it's better to uh, only execute uh, and download the help on that single machine that's one of the reason that i can think uh, so that we can save the disk space on every machine PowerShell update has been completed, uh, but few of the modules has been not updated. If you can look at your AFI client and config, MG, uh, config uh, defender, that's a Windows defender, and uh, Microsoft PowerShell, OODA, utilities, and some of other modules would not uh, not able to update because a few of the XML files are not not able to find from the Microsoft site. So these are the uh, exceptions. We what uh, what you can do it. Uh, so today I have this error but tomorrow if you try to do it you may not have this error and if you don't want this kind of you know errors what you can do is you can actually use a slash uh, force with EA and the count is zero so this uh, should actually give you the uh, update information uh, so it's gonna update automatically and this time there, should, there will not be any errors but uh, the uh, ultimate uh, reason for this error is there's no XML files or it's not available if you can you know go for the getting the modules by listing uh, for your uh, broken uh, information then you would be you know getting that you know what kind of uh, XML files are missing so that's okay um, it's not that you know every time uh, every module is uh, important for us uh, for example, I may not be working here in the AFV client in this lab, but if you're uh, interested, uh, definitely the required AFV client specific already might be updated, uh, but uh, not the latest uh, updates are available. So that's what the error it means. Just waiting for uh, to the complete update. Once it's updated, we get the output. So it's still updating the module for the storage. Now it's just updated. Uh, the help so this is how you can update uh, the help and the next upcoming lecture we are going to use the actual get hyphen help command to get and build our entire script so that's the first command uh, which we need to understand and start from there